featuring Earl. Oh, oh. A am I still here? In my mind, I was running so fast. <laughs> Earl, we're waiting for you. <laughs> He's acting like the stage wants him to commit to a monogamous relationship. You know what I'm talking about, right, lady? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, jazz is funny. <laughs> boys, y'all know the drill. Bam, bam, boys, bam. <laughs> You gotta go up and buy us some time so I can convince Earl to get up there. Max, I don't know if I could do that. Should I go with God Bless the Child or Lady Sings the Blues? <laughs> Quit adding white things to you. You're already the whitest person here. Just go. Hey there, you crazy cats. Earl will be out in a hot second. How y'all doing? And one, and two, and three martinis over on this table. <laughs> You know when someone else says something stupid, but you're embarrassed? Earl, I thought this would make you happy, but if you don't want to play, we can just go. Then let's just go. Damn it, Earl! Follow along, boys. Just keep it bright and breezy, and God bless the child. Uh, is this a joke? I'm gonna have to shoot up myself to get through this. Sometimes when the crickets start chirping down south late on... because he's obviously cut the whole back roll perfectly. <laughs> they call this the redneck crotch rocket. Oh, I've got my man Keeney on, man. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll fire this thing, man. Let me, let me go back on this, too. I see he got that uh, the big shotgun in his hands and that little 22 in his pants. <laughs> that little thing ain't gonna hurt nobody. Man, why are you focused right here, man? I'm, I'm why not are you focused, focused right, right here, here, man? Why are you focused right here, man? Number one. What happened when you tried to punk me? Just didn't work, man. <laughs> the only 100% foolproof way to punk me, because I'm unpunkable, is to get popcorn. To get what? To get popcorn. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing popcorn. No, sit right there. Nothing's going on. I'm just going to turn these little dials. Later. Later. Fall flavors, you might just want to jump in. Get it delivered at DQ.com. Should we try Satan? I hear he gets things done. Mom continues next on FXX. Pretty. Any chance you were thinking of crashing at Adams tonight? What did you do? I moved the desk. Oh, Tammy, no! Yeah, and I saw that dry rod and pulled up the floorboards anyway. It's planted of the ants down there. What? Well, they were down there, but my process seemed to rile them up pretty good. I guess what I'm trying to say is the apartment is completely filled with ants. Well, I haven't checked upstairs, but they were marching in that direction. <laughs> Do you really think I'm pretty? So wait, now you do want to pay me back? You were right. It's part of my recovery. What you do with your money is none of... How to make some serious dough. Ching. You guys just might make some money on this house. The season premiere of Flipping 101 with Tarek El Musa. Thursday night at 9 on HGTV. And streaming on Discovery+. Plus. Expert chocolatiers, inspired by spine-tingling candy rides, Whoa, produce mind-bending Hershey's creations. Frightening, but tempting. Series premiere, Chocolate Meltdown, Hershey's After Dark, September 27th at 10 on Food Network. You know what time it is. Ready to Love is back. 20 of the sexiest singles in Washington, D.C. vie for lasting love. We got Chocolate City's finest in the house. In the most dramatic season ever. Don't talk crazy to me. You showed your two colors. I'm very disturbed. Do uh. not gonna keep on saying to you. Girl, what? what? Oh, Jesus. Okay, nah, I need a drink. Ready to Love returns Friday, October 15th at 8, 7 central. Part of Real Drama Weekend on OWN. 
It's been a hard year, but this year has also given us the opportunity to put stock in what's important. Davis has changed. I am ready to plead my case with the court of the border loans. The expenses are piling up, and that doula is not cheap. I want you to have the birth experience you want. I cannot shake this feeling like something's coming. I got a way you can make some cash. Some people are just bad news. Billy was one of those people. What happened? Some things and some people should remain in your past. Monday. Yesterday, Kelly told me that he wants kids. I'm at that point, you know? Ooh. Citizens. And we need to ban solitary. Oh, yeah, that's a given. Emily, we need your voice. We need your energy. Use your privilege for something that's meaningful. Of course. I'm going to fight for all of this when I get out of here. Oh, I forgot. You're free to go. I'm sorry, the judge gave me the note 30 minutes ago. I'm just so caught up in this episode. I hope Rob Stark has a fun wedding. Emily, that's great. I'm glad you get to go home, but we got to take off. We got some other folks to go visit and tell about the movement. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I hope to see you out there, homegirl. You will. Yes, you say ready, steady, and then what comes next, Pato? Oh dear. Pato can't remember what comes next. Can any of you help Pato to get the race started? Say it with me. Ready, steady. Go! And they're off! Well done, isn't it? Really, Pocoyo and Ellie are neck and neck. Oh, and I think they've woken Sleepy Bird. Oh, and look, it seems as though she wants to join the race as well. <laughs> so, it doesn't look like she can go very fast. It looks as though Ellie is taking the lead. Oh no, what bad luck! Ellie appears to be stuck in the sand. And there goes Poco Yo, leaving poor Ellie in the dust. I, I, I mean sand. Wait a moment. Looks like Ellie has an idea. What's she going to do? She's pulling herself out. Pull, Ellie, pull! She did it! And she's off again! Nice going, Poco Yo! You're way ahead! You're working up quite a sweat, aren't you? Oh my! This is very strange. What are you doing now, Pocoyo? Ice cream. You're eating an ice cream in the middle of the race? Well, I must say, you must be feeling pretty confident if you're eating ice cream. Oh, Ellie. Well, you'd better get going if you want to win the race, Pocoyo. He's off again! Look at that Poco Yo go! Oh, and that sleepy bird! Now the key to convincing is to use your strengths. Well, folks, you've been great. I'd stay longer, but I have a family reunion at the lumber yard. Har har har! <laughs> Mr. Coconuts, you are too funny. Yeah, it's too bad he can't go to the big comedy gala. It's black tie and he can't afford a tuxedo. Ah, uh, coconuts. What? He has to go. Whoa, 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 Paul, whoa. we paid him for this. Soak it in, gang. This is what good leadership looks like. 
Uh, anybody worried about Hop Pop? I haven't seen him since we got back. He's probably off licking his wounds. <sighs> Might as well get comfortable here with all the other frogs nobody needs anymore. Need some help, little feller? There you go. Where was I? Oh, right. Crippling sadness. Hmm? <laughs> hey, you're more loyal than my own family. I'm gonna call you Jeremy. Is anyone else, like, starving? Dinner! Great suggestion! Huh, no food in here either. Guess today's the day Hop-Up goes to the grocery store. If it goes out of business, it's also the end of Commander Cool Toys. Huh? Like no more Commander Cool Toys? <laughs> That's scarier than any ghost scoom! You're telling me! Melomut, let's go look for clues. Right on, Romantic Clue. There sure is an awful lot to sniff around here. Don't worry, I can handle it. Jinky, <laughs> Scooby, you found a clue. Oh, all in a day's work. Far well, what? It's a canceled check. And it's signed by someone named Herbert Blom? Like, who's that? All right, Buster. Who are you and what are you doing here? Oh, excuse me, miss. Freddy, she's a he. The name's Little Bo Peter. I I'm the world's biggest wrestling fan. Oh, like, why is that? Because I got more wrestling souvenirs than anyone. Want to see my official Coolsville Wrestling Federation whoopee cushion? Uh, no, but we would like to see your bottle of CWF barbecue sauce. Yeah, we're hungry. Yeah, I hate barbecue sauce. Say, if you're a fan, why are you dressed like a wrestler? Yeah, how come? I wanted to be a real wrestler, but Carol Colosso laughed at my costume. Gee, that's hard to imagine. But I'll show her. I'm joining the Swindleson Brothers Wrestling Federation. Swindleson Brothers? Who are they? They're swell guys. They hate Carol Colosso as much as I do. Excuse me, but I got some intensive training to do with my partners. Like I didn't know you had any partners? Me neither. Lots of them. Come on, you guys. Move it. Move it. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, we'd better pay a visit to the Swindleson Brothers, gang. Boy, this place sure is spooky looking. We'll never get Scooby to go inside. Uh -uh. Like, don't worry, Freddy. Scooby will do anything for a Mellow Mutt Munchie. That's right. Oh, no. It's empty, Scoob. Empty? Do you know what this means? No, what? Now there's absolutely nothing that'll get Mellow Mutt to go inside. That's right. Not money, not gold, not... Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Okay. Oh. Mm. 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 I'm ready. Like this place really gives me goosebumps galore, Mellow Mutt. You're not the only one. Let's split up, gang. Like we split up five minutes ago, Freddy. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Like the hooded heifer could be anywhere. The souvenir shop, the ticket booth, the snack bar. Zoinks! Can I say snack bar? Who did? Who did? <laughs> Let's wrestle up some major munchies, Mellow Mutt. Right, Romander. <laughs> A hero sandwich fit for a true superhero. My favorite kind. I'd like, hand me the mustard, please. Thanks, Scoob. Thanks for what? Like, did you hand me the mustard, Scoob? No. And like, you don't have a hoop, do you? Well, I don't think so. Move it or lose it. Let's make trap, Scoob. Like I know what 
mitts in here somewhere. Commander Cool Death Ray, Commander Cool Oven Mitts, Commander Cool Footstool. Ah, ah, here it is. The official Commander Cool rocket powered hat. Like, hang on, fellow mutt. <laughs> hurry, hurry, step right up, get your official wrestling souvenirs. Here's your official wrestling cap. Here's your official wrestling china. Your sponge, bowling ball. And your official wrestling roller sign. Marvelous! I like we'd love to stick around and chew the cut, but we're closed. Yeah, ciao, pal. What are we gonna do?